Hello guys, welcome to my channel Miss Recap. Today I am going to explain 2022 animated adventure comedy movie called Ice Age. The movie starts with a squirrel named Scrat, which wanted to hide its food before the start of Ice Age. The entire ground was covered with hard ice here. In spite of it, it tries that it may hide the food under the ground in some way. A great crack on ground is appeared here, and the snow begins to fall down. Lying on the big mountains at a distance, being offered is quite escapes from here, and it comes in open field while running. There he observes that many mammals are migrating. In the same way, Scrat also moves away. Clinging on the foot of one mammal, on the other side a ground sloth named Sith is seen. Its family had migrated, leaving it. Sith is sat here, and it thinks, okay, I myself will migrate. While walking, Sith reaches Brontotir, which were enjoying their last salad. After this, they were going to migrate. Reaching here, Sith spoils your salad, and it eats the last remaining flower. To Brontotir, got furious on this action, and they run after Sith to harm it. Sid runs after escaping its life, then it reaches a mammal named Manny. When Manny notices that Sid's life is in danger, then he makes both Brontotiers run. Now, Scrat knows that there should be required Manny's support if it wants to migrate safely. Due to this, it requests Manny to accompany me with you. Manny ignores it and Sid is a little dejected. It observes as it turns back as both Brontotiers are waiting for it. After this, it accompanies Manny as being scared. On the other side, a human family is seen, which is enjoying with its little kid named Russian. They were under the sharp eye of the observation by two tigers from a distance. One of them was the leader Soto and its friend Digo along with it. It is revealed here that they had killed many tigers of Soto's clan, so Soto wanted to revenge now because it was its plan to take revenge from them while eating Russian. Soto decides that it will attack them with other tigers in morning time, and it suggests to Digo you will lift Russian during this time and bring him to me. On the other side, Sid was struggling here to impress Manny in some way. It brings a stick of its size saying, I know how to inflame the fire. It begins to rain, cats and dogs within a short time. After this, Sid remains unable to inflame the fire in spite of its hard struggle. Being dejected and failed, it moves to Manny. It is hidden under its tail. On the other side, Scrat is also viewed, which was in these efforts to hide its food in the trees. The light falls there, the morning arrives, and Soto with all rest of tigers attack them. The dispute starts among them. Digo moves to the camp of Roshan steadily, so it may hurt Roshan over to Soto. But Roshan's mother flees, taking him before it abducted him. Digo also chases her. She thinks reaching the end of a cliff that what should she do? Digo was near her. After this, Roshan's mother jumps into a river, lying down, taking him. Digo tells Soto, coming back, that how the child has fallen into the stream. Soto comes into rage. Hearing the story of Digo, it says to Digo, I will kill you at the place of that child if you don't bring him here after searching. Later, he specifies a location where Digo will have to reach, abducting the kid. Contrarily, it is seen that Roshan's father discovered a lying locket and he goes to search for his son and wife taking this locket. On the opposite side, Manny and Sid come on the scene, where Manny was feeling irritation from the Sid's continued stop. These cast a glance at Roshan and his mother as they reach the bank of the stream. Roshan's mother brings him to the bank of the stream, glimpsing Manny, and Manny pulls him out with his trunk. Now they both are shocked witnessing this kid. Roshan's mother had flowed with water when they see after turning back. In the same, Manny is also begun to turn. After the Sid says to it, you have rescued this kid, so we will have to make him reach his village together. But Manny begins to leave while refusing this directly. Sid says, okay, don't come, I myself will take him alone. After this, it begins to climb the mountain taking Roshan. Roshan is dropped from its grip. Before it, Digo catches him, reaching deer. Manny catches him here. Digo understands that it will be unable to cope with Manny because Manny was big sized and it was also looking most powerful. After this, it says to Manny, I will lead him to the village. But Manny and Sid do not trust in it. After this, Manny says to Sid, Okay, we will lead him to his village but on a condition that you will stop chasing me after this. After this, Sid and Manny reach the human village. Going there, they come to know that human beings have gone from here. Tigo tells them, reaching here that I know where the human being have gone, so I will lead him to that place. Manny doesn't believe in it, saying, 
Everyone knows that human being dwells behind the glacier and yourselves will take him there. Rigo says to it you know that glacier will be blocked because of that ice. But I know about the shortcut which we can make him reach his house soon. Now many ants believe in it and accompany it. Roshan begins to weep after a little time. They don't understand what is going on. Many ask Sid to change his diaper but Roshan doesn't stop crying in spite of changing diaper. After this they understand that he is feeling appetite. They glimpse a watermelon in search of food. A dodo takes it away and Manny goes to grab it. They follow it and observe that there are many dodos at a place and they are collecting their food for ice age. Three watermelons had been placed at a place where Manny says to them that give one watermelon because baby is hungry. Where dodos had refuses it. One watermelon itself is reaches Roshan while rolling. After this, Dodo's leader snatches it again. That watermelon is dropped down from the cliff while snatching. They had left two watermelons. Sid tries to hide one of them. Some Dodo's snatch it from them reaching there, but this watermelon is also dropped with Dodo into warm water hole while snatching. There was left the last watermelon which is snatched with difficulty by Sid, and it breaks it while throwing it on the ground. After this Roshan enjoys this broken watermelon while eating and the rest of Dodo jump from the cliff in dejection. They begin to have rest at a place as the night falls. Digo tries its best to abduct Roshan at night but he hears a sound. After this it knows that a baby tiger has approached to it to convey it the message of Soto. Digo does that it is coming taking that kit and it will also bring a great mammal with it. When they cast a glance on Manny then they trust in Digo and they depart from there to convey that message to Soto. Manny checks while walking up that kid is not near it as the morning arrives. After this it asks Digo immediately where is the baby. Digo itself did not know as where the baby has just appeared. And it is seen that Sid is giving something to Roshan along with his companions. Afterwards, Manny takes Roshan from it coming there. It entertains Roshan on its trunk and enjoys a lot. As it sees that Manny has deeply attached with the baby, after it, they set out to the glacier. Tigo traces some footprints of its friends on the way. He changes them into his footprint after removing them. The scratch squirrel is seen again with it, which was gesticulating Manny that it has seen some of the tigers here, but Manny is not able to understand its gestures. And Digo makes the scratch run away. They make their journey in a storm and eventually reach the glacier. Passing a little distance, Digo glimpses some of the species of Russian. Being upset, Digo says to them that I know about a shortcut, but Manny and Sid don't believe in it. As a result, Digo shouts a little bit, and the snow on the glacier begins to fall down, and they have to walk on the told shortcut of Digo. So it takes its own way in this shortcut, where it observes that many mammals have been died, where it also sees its own sloth species. Later, it also meets Manny and Digo again. After it, they reach a cave passing through the tunnel. Manny glimpses many paintings there, where the families had been sketched and many mammals were also there like Manny. Manny's story is revealed here as how it had a house. It had a family where the people began to hunt them for their ease. Coming there, Manny had escaped from there but it was not succeed to rescue its wife and a kid. Thinking it, Manny becomes very sentimental. Roshan touches a painting while reaching Manny. After that, he hugs Manny's trunk, approaching there. In this way, Manny is more attached with him. On the other side, Roshan's father is seen who was still searching for Roshan with his partners. Roshan's father is told with it, it is very hard to find out Roshan. So they begin to return accepting as being disappointed. Contrarily, three of them were covering their journey. Sid senses something hot under his feet. It is seen here that volcano is coming to erupt. Volcano is appearing from everywhere. The ice begins to crack from its center. Manny throws Sid from its trunk away so it may be protected. After this, it jumps taking Roshan and it observes that Digo has left behind. When it becomes to jump from one cliff to another, then Digo is hanged downside with difficulty. Manny moves to backward possessing Roshan to Sid in order to help Digo. It pulls up Digo but the cliff is cracked at the spot. But Manny falls down, Sid and Digo thinks as Manny is no more. But Manny again comes to them because of the stream flow. 
After this, Digo gratifies many. Then it is felt that Digo has also started to like them. After this, they stop in a cave to pass the night. The Roshan takes his staff from the first time, all feel excitement, observing it, and said gesticulating walking Roshan to step towards it. Roshan reaches Digo instead of reaching Sid. It is also felt here that Digo is also attached with Roshan to an extent. Next morning, they again set out on journey, where they reached that site where Soto and his companion were waiting for Digo. Digo also cast a glance on its companions and it feels that many Sid and Roshan's lives are at risk. It instantly feels the need as they have to be rescued. Afterwards, it reveals all the truth to Manny and Sid. Being aggressive, Manny begins to hit Digo here. But Digo assures it is me which has entrapped you and I will also take you out from this. Digo says to his companions and says, Our revenge is going to be taken soon. We are tigers view Sid and Baby at a little distance. All the tigers run after Sid, but it had a key, so it escapes to backward from them. The baby is dropped down from its hands when tigers reach that baby. They notice that it is not a baby but a snowman. At the same time, Manny also attacks those tigers reaching there. And Soto orders Digo attack Manny. Digo does not act like this at all. Soto feels here that Digo is in favor of Manny. It itself attacks Manny here and Digo itself is injured. Coming before Soto and it rescues Manny. Manny get aggressive and it throws Soto away while attacking it forcefully. Due to this, some frozen ice crystals falls on Soto and Soto becomes victim. When all tigers notice that their head is no more, then they escape as being scared from Manny. Manny and Sid offer wounded Digo accompany us, but Digo asks them to lead him to his house, I will be alright. After this, it is seen that Roshan's father is going to leave after leaving Roshan's locket at a place. Then they observe approaching Manny there, it seems to them as Manny will attack them. So he begins to attack Manny, taking out his spear. And all remaining people also come from backside and they also take out their spears to attack Manny. But Manny raises his trunk and shows Roshan from backside. Roshan's father doesn't believe in his eyes after seeing him alive. That Roshan is still alive and how Manny has brought Roshan to him. Roshan reaches his father taking his lovable steps where Manny and Sid return back and Roshan, his father and other people also begin to leave. But Roshan calls Manny and Sid with his infant voice. Manny and Sid returns and embraces Roshan for the first time. Seeing it, his father also understands that how close their bond is. Roshan's father hands over that locket to Manny as a memory because of this close attachment. After this, they depart taking Roshan from there. At the same time, Digo also reaches there and says valediction to Roshan in the end. Manny and Sid feel excitement seeing Digo, and three of them take their own ways. The ending of the movie takes place after 20,000 years, where Scrat and its friend were caught in the snow at a place. The waves of water take it on an island where ice begins to melt, and Scrat waits as it may eat its meal as the ice melts. It means it's already melts with ice and flows far because of the waves of water. Scrat hits its head on a wall after being irritated from it. Where a coconut falls down from upside, now Scrat also tries to hide this coconut under the ground as compelled by its nature. Now the cracks begin to appear on the ground as appeared in ice age before. And a volcano erupts because of those ice cracks. And the movie completes on this scene. Thanks for watching. If you like it, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.